Uh, how did you get the name uh, uh, or the self-proclaimed name, the Black Enigma? So uh, I, on, on this journey that I created for myself, you know, finding out who I am, uh, mm. I actually broke down who, you know, who I am, like, who are you? And okay. when you sent the registration form, you know, I probably spent like two days <laughs> <laughs> on question one. Because, oh, wow. it, because it asks, who are you? Mm -hmm. And you know, most people will say, oh, well, I'm merry and small. I'm yada, yada, yada. I didn't ask you for your name. I mm -hmm. asked, who are you? So when you start peeling back layers of who you are, okay, I'm a man. Okay, now what is a man? Mm -hmm. You know, then you get into, oh, well, a man is a provider. He, uh, you know, sets the example for people to follow. He, uh, you know, he he fosters uh, all of these morals that makes him a good leader. Mm -hmm. You name it attributes. You're not, not you're not telling me what a man is. You're telling me what a man does. OK, so uh, whenever whenever I figured that out, I'm like, OK, what is a man? So what I came up with is a uh, a man is a current state of being. Hmm. So. uh and the type of being that I am is enigmatic, which means okay. difficult to interpret. Uh, <laughs> but if you look at the etymology of of uh, of uh, I'm sorry, uh, enig uh, enigmatic, it means uh, concealed with a hidden meaning. So okay. I so so I love uh, uh, parables and stuff with a deeper meaning. You know, kind of like stuff that we take. Uh, for granted as face value, and we don't really know the meanings that we use them. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like nip it in the bud, for example. Have you mm -hmm. ever heard of that term? No, oh, I think we all have. It's so can I could I get your definition of what you think it is? Oh, uh, if I if I would hear it or say it, nip it in the bud would be like, you know, we're gonna end this quickly or we're gonna we're gonna do this, nip it in the bud, and we're done with it. Okay. So so if you look at the history of that statement, nip it in the bud refers to plants so hmm. whenever a leaf turns yellow on a plant you nip it in the bud by removing the yellow leaf because the plant will kill itself trying to turn that one yellow leaf back green so hmm. in order to keep the flow of energy throughout the whole plant you nip it in the bud and remove the one so the rest of the plant can grow 